And this is 32-year-old Gavi, who is now at Juventus, having spent most of his career at Barcelona. We're 15 years into a simulation on FM23, and this is how he looks. If we have a look, he's still a really good player, a legendary midfielder by his media description. Uh, but we'll have a look at his career stats and see how he did at Barcelona before going to Juventus on a free transfer. Obviously, starts the game out as a 17-year-old, so he played one time for Barcelona B. And that first season in the Barcelona side was his worst one at 6.76. But since then, well into the mid-7s on his average rating. Uh, peaking, if we look here through, at 7.66, I believe, in the 31-32 season. 16 assists from 38 appearances. Pretty impressive. Uh, consistent across the board as well. And then by the time he moves to Juventus at age 30, he's still in the 7.4s by the time he gets into Italy. Over his whole career, 7.38 average rating. Brid. Brought down a little bit by that first season, but everything else, really, really impressive. Um, and he, lo he looks a really good player still. If we look at his biography, we'll have a look at what he's won, uh, both on a personal level and at a club level as well. Uh, if we look through here, there are plenty of awards to be looking at. He's won the Champions League three times with Barcelona. Uh, won plenty of league titles as well, six league titles. We'll have a look at the Champions League first time out. Obviously, Barcelona lost in the final, but he'd gone by that point. Uh, so three there victories in the Champions League, three other final appearances. The final appearance, that's just finished. He'd already left Barcelona. He was at Juventus by that point. Won the Super Cup, uh, won the Nations League with Spain. La Liga won six times. Uh, if we look at La Liga here... Uh, basically all bar the most recent victory for Barcelona he was a part of the squad and helped drive the squad to that championship victory uh, obviously pairing with Pedri in the centre of defence but since going to Juventus they've won back-to-back -back league titles they're in the middle of a five on the bounce run in Italy uh, but he's performed really well for Juventus driving them to another two titles uh, if we look at the NXGN uh, he won that in the 23-24 uh, season pipping uh, Shelder up to the uh, NXGN award Ward and yeah, NXGN, that's the right way around. Um, then if we look further on, he's won the Copper Trophy a few times actually. Won it pre-game and then won it three times in-game. Uh, back to back to back, pretty dominant in that award. Uh, beating out some other favourites that we've done videos on here on the channel as well. Uh, plenty of personal awards as a young player. Uh, European Golden Boy as well here in 2024. Uh, that's a, another good young player award. Now, when he gets into the more senior awards, has he won the Ballon d'Or? That's what we need to look for. Uh, I'm trying to find here. Ballon d'Or. There we go. Yep, he's won the Ballon d'Or in 33-34 as a 29-year-old, not long before leaving to join Juventus a season later. Uh, but he's had a good run of things. That was his best season, I think, there, the 33-34. We'll have a look back at his profile. And we'll also jump back to how he was when the game started, obviously, as a 17-year-old at Barcelona, he's already part of the main club setup. He's already played plenty of games for them. Uh, his attributes looking pretty good across the board. So it's incremental gains here. Uh, it looks like his physicals are pretty much similar to what they are now. Mentals have gone up a little bit 15 years later. Technicals have improved as well, but he's already a really good player. He's already a wonder kid. His polygon does not look too different. He sort of rounded out a little bit on the attacking and vision side of things. But if we jump back to the 15 years into the future point where he's now at Juventus, you can see here, 32 years of age. Uh, he's had a really good career. He's a legendary midfielder for a reason. Uh, if we look back, obviously, some great seasons. That 31-32 season there being the 7.66. And then 33-34 where he won the Ballon d'Or as well at 7.5. Average rating nearly at 7.4 across his whole career. And he's had a great run. If you've managed to sign Gavi away from Barcelona at any point in your save, let us know how he's developed. Uh, drop some comments down below on how you think he's developed in this simulation. And I'll catch you on the next video. Hang around for some more.